Alright, welcome back. In the last video we figured out um, our four different equations uh, to use for our uh, to figure out what the four different thetas are. Um, I'm actually going to uh, rewrite them here so if in case you don't remember um, don't know why it's only been maybe 10 seconds. Equation 1 was EI right and it was 2 over 15 theta a plus 7 over 15 theta b uh, plus 1 over 10 theta c plus 0 oops 0 theta d and that was equal to 120 okay equation 2 was ei uh, 0 theta a 0 theta a uh, plus 1 over 10 theta b paper uh, plus 7 over 15 theta c plus 2 over 15 theta d and that was equal to negative 120 okay then you had 3 here ei um, you had 4 over 15 theta a plus 2 over 15 theta b plus 0 theta c plus 0 theta d is equal to 0. And then finally our fourth equation ei uh, we had a 0 theta a plus 0 theta b plus 2 over 15 theta c plus 4 over 15 theta d and that was equal to zero. So we have four equations, four unknowns. Um, obviously we're gonna use um, a simultaneous equations would just take way too long, right? You'd use a uh, matrix, you use a matrix. So um, if you have a calculator that can do it or there's plenty of stuff online, you just input the values, they'll give you what theta A, B, C, and D are. <clears throat> um, I'm actually gonna put this in matrix form so I'm gonna have matrix A and then you have your you know you have your unknowns and then those are equal to your um, values here your negative 120 uh, negative 120 0 and 0 and um, so if I if I factored out an EI right the EI is factored out of everything and if I wrote this matrix uh, you take the coefficients of the uh, equation 1 so it'd be 2 15 you have 7 15 then you have 1 10th and then you have 0 second row you have 0 1 10th <coughs> 7 15 and then you have 2 15 and then the third row you have 4 15 um, 2 15 0 and 0 and then you have 0, 0, then you have 2 fifteenths, and then you have 4 fifteenths, right? So this is your matrix, and then your unknowns, remember theta A, theta B, theta C, theta D, and that's equal to 120, negative 120, 0, and 0, right? And if you plug this into a calculator, or you just invert it and you solve this matrix, um, you'll get theta A should be equal to negative 200 over EI. Theta B is equal to 400 over EI. Uh, theta C is equal to negative 400 over EI. And then finally theta D is equal to 200 over EI. All right, so we figured out what theta all the different thetas are. Um, we figured out what they were uh, using matrix. Now, <clears throat> I could, if you're gonna, so our, our question originally was, uh, what are the different moments, right? So, um, well, let's just, let's go through them. Well, I don't wanna take shortcuts, so I'm gonna, uh, the first thing we need to figure out is M-A-B, M-A-B, 
And remember, MAB was 2 over 15 times EI. Uh, then you have 2 theta A plus theta B. And if we plugged in theta A and theta B, uh, we should get 2 EI over 15 times 2 theta A was negative 200 over EI plus the theta B. And you'll notice that you the EIs cancel out. Um, and if you solve this, you get 2 times negative 400. <clears throat> I'm sorry, 2 times negative 200 is negative 400 plus 400 is 0. 0 kip foot. And does this make sense? Well, let's check. If my scrolly will scroll. MAB was a moment about the pin. And the pin doesn't support a moment. So that means MAB is equal to 0. And our equation, um, or when we figured out what theta A and B are, um, theta, or MAB, when we plugged in theta A and theta B, was 0. So that means we're right there. And then you have... MBA and MBA was 2EI I'm sorry this no, wrong bad semi 2EI over 15 uh, yeah yeah 2 theta B plus theta A um, and if you plug all this in uh, you'll get 2 over 15 times EI this should be a uh, not staying consistent. Two theta b theta b was uh, four hundred over ei uh, plus the negative two hundred over ei. And if you solve this out, you should get eighty kip foot. Okay. Um, MBC. Again, same thing, you just plug in the theta, theta values for your equation for NBC. Um, I'm actually not going to do it, but I'll give you the answer. The answer is negative 80 kip foot. And this kind of, kind of makes sense because if we look at MBA and MBC, uh, you have one 80 kip foot uh, going the direction we assumed and one opposing it because of this negative sign. Um, and remember, this was at joint B, and we had this, and this, and this was MBC, this was MBA. Um, MBA looks like it's going the right direction because it's a positive. MBC is going the actually negative, so it's actually going this way. This makes sense, right? You have you have 80, 80 kip foot going one way, and you have 80 kip, point, kip foot going the other way. And that means the joint B um, is in equilibrium. MCB, again, you just plug it in, um, should get 80 kip foot. And MCD should be negative 80 kip foot. Again, this means joint C is in equilibrium. So that's, that's check. Now, <clears throat> MDC, I'll do the equation for this one. It was 2EI over 15 times 2 theta D plus theta c and that's equal to 2 ei over 15 um, 2 times theta d theta d was 200 over ei uh, plus negative 400 over ei right and again the eis all cancel out um, and if you solve this again you get 400 minus 400 and that's zero zero kip foot so this was a problem. I mean, in this case, we had no chord rotations, but we actually had four unknowns. Um, so we had to set up a four by four matrix to solve for the unknowns, or the all the theta a's, or theta all the thetas. In that case, uh, we plugged them into the moment equations, and this is what we got. All right. Hopefully that helped. All right.